Uh, one of the greatest voices of our time, truly. Music legend Dionne Warwick will appear this weekend. Five-time Grammy winner. She's making a special appearance. It's this Sunday. It's here in L.A., the 100th anniversary celebration of Mayor Tom Bradley. Dionne Warwick is here along with event organizer Monet Swan. Welcome, ladies. Hi. Hi. So not just you, as if your voice isn't big enough, isn't beautiful enough. Also, Stevie Wonder is going to be there. Yeah, I called him up and told him <laughs> what I was doing and that I needed him to come out and, and celebrate with everybody else. And we're talking about celebrating, we're talking about honoring uh, former Mayor, mayor Tom, Tom Bradley. Bradley yeah. absolutely. It's been 25 years since he's been mayor, but I think his message of inclusion, his message of acceptance, Civility. Yes, it's more important now than ever. No doubt. Absolutely, and I think that is why he's such an important person to recognize at this time, because so many of the things that are going on with the Women's March, mm -hmm. and we talk about Me Too, Enough, all of those things are things that he actually talked about many, many years ago. Yes. And if we would remember his vision, we might not have those issues today. Where, where did this idea come from to honor Mayor Bradley? Well. You know, it's a little short story. I'm a singer, and um, I was asked to perform for the 100th anniversary. Well, you see who I'm sitting next to. <clears throat> That's a whole other story. But I was so excited because I had met him during the Olympics, and I said, I want to do something special. Mm -hmm. And so I spoke with the Tom and Ethel Bradley Foundation, and we decided, let's do it. This is his 100th year, and let's do it now. And so then what I did is I called, and Dion so gracefully said, she would do it. And then she called her friend, Stevie Wonder. Mm -hmm. And then we've got some other, uh, Lou Gossett Jr. We have, um, let's see, Marla Gibbs. We also have... Sweet Alice. Sweet, Sweet Alice. Alice. from Watts, such a great community and member. Oh, and one of Mayor Bradley's favorites. Yeah. So to have her there, it's going to be wonderful. And Dion, what, what do you think people can expect when they come out to this event? I, I, I know there's a lot of music, entertainment, yeah, but it's, I think it's, it's going to be more enlightenment mm -hmm. as to not only the reason that we're there, but the reason that we should continue to carry that banner and keep his, his, his vision alive. Matt Bradley was very, very special, very special. He cared, he gave, he loved, he was of the people. And I think that it, that's what the message is really all about, be of. Mm. He was the first black mayor, the only black mayor of our, and our great city. And for different terms, honey. Right, but 20, it, 20, 20 years. years. 20 years. It's but, amazing. But not, he wasn't just an advocate for the black community. He no, was an advocate for people, the homosexual everyone. community. He one, was, one of the first public figures. It was about figures. Los Angeles. Yes. Yeah. And I think a lot of that came about because he started off as a cop. Mm -hmm. and, you know, and then a councilman. And when you go through all those different transitions, you get to see the people firsthand. Exactly. And because of that, he was a friend of the people. And his legacy should go on forever. So we want to keep that going through the youth in technology so we can help our children also be able to get that foundation for success mm -hmm. and come together on many different levels. Oh, Monet, thank you for being here. Dion, thank you so My much pleasure. for being here. And